Gary Berghoff's exit from M.A.S.H., where he brilliantly portrayed Radar O'Reilly, was wrapped in deep emotions and a bittersweet story. Discover the heart-wrenching reason behind his departure with Fax Buddy. Berghoff and his iconic role, Gary Berghoff's portrayal of Corporal Walter Radar O'Reilly in M.A.S.H., holds a special place in classic TV history. As the only actor to carry his role from the original 1970 film to the iconic TV series, Berghoff became a fan favorite. His seamless transition wasn't a surprise given his standout performance in the film. Radar, with his wholesome Midwestern charm and the uncanny knack for hearing incoming helicopters before anyone else, became a key figure in the series. As the company clerk, he was the heart of the 4077th managing daily operations while balancing the chaos of the Mobile Army Surgical Hospital during the Korean War. Often, Radar was the moral anchor, contrasting the surgeon's antics and the dark humor that defined the show. Berghoff's portrayal was both heartfelt and layered, capturing Radar's growth from a wide-eyed innocent to someone a bit more seasoned, reflecting the series' broader themes of lost innocence and the toll of war. Memorable Radar Episodes In Season 2, Episode 3, Radar's Report, Gary Berghoff's character, Radar, takes center stage as he's tasked with writing the weekly activity report. The episode cleverly uses Radar's report as a narrative framework, giving us a glimpse into the chaotic world of the 4077th through his innocent, sometimes naive eyes. Radar's perspective, filled with childlike wonder, stands in stark contrast to the grim and often absurd realities of war. As he navigates military bureaucracy and interacts with his fellow soldiers, Radar's essential role within the unit becomes clear. He's the glue that holds everything together. Moving forward to Season 2, Episode 10, The Sniper, we see Radar in a high-stakes situation that tests his courage. When the unit comes under fire from a sniper, Radar's role becomes pivotal. His fear is palpable. Yet his determination to keep things under control is unwavering. In this intense episode, his reliance on Hawkeye and Henry reinforces the deep, familial bonds within the unit. Radar's actions during the crisis underscore themes of fear, bravery, and the camaraderie that holds the team together under fire. In Season 4, Episode 8, The Kids, Radar's softer side shines. As the 4077th turns into a temporary orphanage after a local school is bombed, Radar's interactions with the children reveal his deep empathy and inherent goodness. As the primary caregiver, his efforts to ensure the safety and comfort of the children stand out, contrasting sharply with the more detached attitudes of the surgeons. This episode beautifully showcases Radar's heart and the warmth he brings to the otherwise cold and clinical environment. Another key episode, Radar's Report, sees Radar grappling with a promotion to lieutenant. Initially thrilled, Radar quickly realizes the promotion creates a rift between him and the enlisted men he supervises, while placing him in an awkward position with the officers. His struggle with this new identity highlights a recurring theme of belonging and the challenges of navigating military life. Finally, in Goodbye Radar, a two-part episode marking Radar's departure, we witness one of the most emotional moments of the series. As Radar says his final goodbye to the unit, his departure is not just the end of an era for the 4077th, but also a shift in the show's dynamics. His character, representing the everyman thrust into extraordinary circumstances, leaves a lasting impact. Radar's final salute is a poignant reminder of the personal costs of war, making his character one of the most beloved in MASH's storied history. Why he left Gary Berghoff's exit from M.A.S.H. wasn't just a career move, it was a heartfelt choice shaped by both personal and professional factors. Portraying Radar O'Reilly was more than just a role, 
It was a demanding commitment that ate into his personal life. The sweet boyish charm he brought to the screen masked his longing for a quieter, more balanced life, closer to his family. As a father, Berghoff didn't want to be just a fleeting figure in his daughter's life. This desire for deeper family connections played a big part in his decision. Professionally, he also worried about being forever typecast as Radar, a concern many actors face when their identity becomes too closely tied to a beloved character. Leaving the show allowed him to break free from Radar's shadow and explore his other talents, like drumming and art. There were also rumors about health concerns and the physical toll of the show's grueling schedule. Prioritizing his well-being became essential, along with finding a lifestyle that offered more peace and less stress. In stepping away from the spotlight, Berghoff found the space to focus on his health, pursue diverse creative projects, and be the father and artist he aspired to be. Gary After Mash After leaving Mash, like many actors, he faced the challenge of being forever linked to his iconic role as Radar O'Reilly. But Radar wasn't quite done yet. In 1984, he reprised the role in a spin-off pilot called Walter. The show aimed to explore Radar's post-Korea life as he transitioned to civilian life as a police officer in St. Louis. However, Walter didn't make it past the pilot stage. The challenges were many. From moving a beloved ensemble character to a solo lead to shifting from the wartime backdrop of M.A.S.H. to a more conventional setting. Radar who was the moral and emotional anchor amidst the chaos of war, lost some of his compelling charm in this new environment. After Walter, he didn't completely step away from acting, but dialed back his Hollywood presence. He made guest appearances in shows like The Love Boat and Fantasy Island, and participated in MASH retrospectives. His career then took a new direction, as an avid outdoorsman, Berghoff hosted a segment on The New Lassie in the late 80s and early 90s, focusing on wildlife and environmental conservation. He also hosted a series about fishing, Gary Berghoff's World of Wildlife, which reflected his passion for nature. Additionally, as a talented drummer and vocalist, he performed with his jazz band, The Wee Three. Beyond entertainment, he ventured into business, inventing and patenting a type of fishing tackle, and even opening an art studio in Florida. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite episode of M.A.S.H.? Let us know in the comments section below.